Hello everybody, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about houses and whether or not they have basically good or bad feng shui. Now, I have looked at all 144 Flying Star charts, and that's what we're going to use here. And every single house has at least one good feature, but you must be able to activate that good feature to have it become a good house, or at least a partially good house. Again, we are using flying stars, so you must have a definitive facing direction, and I have videos that describe this, and this is why I am kind of um, crazy about this, or a little bit concerned that you have a definitive facing direction. As I said, every single flying star chart has at least one good area. And if the house does not have missing sectors, every house will have at least one good area. However, there are some houses that don't have many good areas. And if you have those as missing sectors, then the house is average at best. And also, every of the Flying Star charts, at least I think this is true. It's been a while since I've looked at them. But... Uh, of at least the flying star formations, they all have at least one special formation. Some periods have a lot more than others, but I think every house has at least one. So there are four special formations that have an overall good effect on the entire house and basically make all stars become timely for all periods, which is fantastic. And there are a couple others, two others, that have uh, that create two very good sectors in your house. Any one of those is a good thing to have. However, there are sometimes, because of the way the formation is created, it can be very difficult or even impossible to be able to properly activate the, these one of these good formations. And later in this video, I'm going to give you an example of one such condition. And of course, it is easier if your house has a good overall formation, that is, it affects the entire house. But if you use the rooms with the best energy, you can improve your life. And you can improve it enough that you can move to a better house. And this is true of apartments too. Now I'm gonna talk just a little bit about what I call a less activatable seven star robbery. Half the seven star robbery houses are like this or the flying star charts are like this. And it requires a special condition. Here we have a road, you have a driveway, and this is the door here in the quote unquote front of the house that is, uh, this is where visitors come, this is where delivery people come. So this is your main door. But behind your house, you don't have a bunch of other houses like most people do. You have a beautiful lake. It could even be a golf course. But you have a nice piece of scenery out here. You can have houses over here as long as there's nothing, no houses between you and this nice view or the lake or whatever it is, then you're okay. And of course, you probably have a lot of windows here because it's a very nice view. This makes, this presence here of a lake or other good feature, makes this your facing direction. It faces, it looks like it's facing to the back side of your house, but this is your facing direction. And your main door is on the opposite side of the house. That's key. I call this a seven star robbery rare. And it's not rare in the sense that it doesn't occur very often. It's rare in the sense that you have to have the right external landforms, which are a lot more rare than what most people live in. So here's the table. And again, any of these special forms have to be able to be activated and be activated for you to feel the good. If it's in red, it has the potential to in influence your entire house and make all stars in your flying star chart timely for all periods. And that's a very good thing to have. But that doesn't always happen, especially in, in these cases. 
If you have a missing sector in a combo 10, it doesn't happen. So there are ways that you can miss out on this. And I do have a, a whole video about these red uh, labeled formations. Now the HT stands for hurt too. This OMOW is on mountain on water. The UMDW is up mountain down water. We've got the combo 10 and the seven star robbery and then these are pearl string, parent string, it's clear. Now, all of these Hertu formations, whether they're Hertu Gua or Hertu Element, and I do have videos about each of those, and the ones in red, they mitigate whatever Shachi you have. And so you don't have to worry about it. And that's another reason why you want one of these formations. Now, if you have four Hertu Gua, like you do here or here, that means eight out of the nine sectors of your house have a possibility of having a special formation. There's requirements that must be met just like there is for all of these formations, but this can still be a really, really good house. Even with two, this means you have four out of the nine that are good. And so you can see kind of in general, most of houses, this is for period eight, most of these houses have a possibility of having a really good formation one that makes all stars become timely for all periods. These two do not, but the two Hertugua, if you can have them activated, it's not a bad house. Of course, there are issues, and that's when you cannot activate the good formation. So I'm just taking one example. Here, we have only one her two element sector. There's just one single sector in the entire house that, yeah, that is really good in terms, of it doesn't matter what shachi you have, it's a really great sector, very good energy. And this is one of those seven star robbery rare conditions. So if you don't have the right external landforms, if you don't have a beautiful view behind your house that is on the other side of where the road is, you probably cannot activate this. So you're really left with this. And if this is a missing sector in your house, then this house is not terribly good. So this is why all this stuff has to be looked at to make sure you're not missing something that would be very good. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my ad-free website. Also, please uh, uh, subscribe because I do have regular updates on the monthly charts and also regular new videos out. Thank you again for watching.